Hello everyone, welcome back. On our last video, we created a route uh, for North Los Angeles. So now, um, maybe it's the 14th, and um, I want to access this route I created about two weeks ago. So um, let me go ahead and click on the little route icon towards the bottom. And click here on the folder. And yeah. so here, you know, I can view by, uh, you know, upcoming or month, just uh, by clicking there on that button. Uh, you know, if you have routes for past months, now, if you want to view routes for uh, previous months, you can, you know, click here the, the back arrow. You can see I had one here for uh, for March. But for now, I'm just wor worried about the uh, upcoming route. So I'll go ahead and click here on that route. It's going to open up the route list. So from here, I can, you know, kind of start going through the list. You know, my current location is going to be uh, my starting point. So this might be my, my home, the car rental place, uh, or wherever I'm at. So I'll go ahead and say, you know what? Current location is where I'm starting. I'm ready to go to LA Furniture Store. Click here, and I can click uh, Navigate. And as you can see here, I have about a 43-minute uh, trip. Not bad. So I'm going to go ahead and click back Salesforce 1. So let's say that, you know, 43 minutes passed, and uh, I arrived. So here I can check in. Always click OK. So um, this allows the uh, Salesforce One to receive the GPS from the phone. Here I can add notes. I'm just going to check in. Um, now let's say that I'm done with my meeting. Um, 30 minutes passed, and uh, I click here Show More. I can click Check Out. So uh, Check and Check Out feature is great because you know right here I can you know log additional notes. I can even add additional fields if needed. Um, I'm just going to check out. So let's go ahead and click back. Other actions you have, you can view records. So if you need to log a car or anything like that, you can do that very easily here by uh, clicking view record. It'll take you directly to the record in Salesforce. You have, you know, you can enable the similar actions that you have on the route list, like the check and check out, and have access to all the other ones that Salesforce provides. So I'm gonna just go ahead and click back. All right, so let's say that, you know, uh, I'm off to my next stop and, uh, you know, they cancel on me. So all of a sudden, you know, and then what do you know? And I have another cancellation. So now I need to fill in some time. So I'm going to go back to the map and I want to run another search. So I'm going to click here on the search and uh, do 25 miles. That, that works for me. And I'm going to go ahead and click accounts all. So now I have all these records I can choose from. So if I click on this one and clear, click here towards the bottom, uh, I can view additional details. So you can add additional fields here. Uh, you can even uh, just add it to the route. So I can just add that to the route. Maybe I want to look at other ones. So we'll click this one here at Long Beach. Looks good. So I'll go ahead and uh, add that one to the route as well. So just like that, I filled in some uh, what would have been lost time. So I'm going to click back on the little route icon. I can go ahead and just re-optimize just to make sure I have the best uh, possible route. And I'm ready to go. Other settings I want to talk about. So let's uh, let's go back to the map. So here's some settings uh, for Salesforce 1. So I'm going to click here on the little hamburger icon within the search. And here, if I want, I can enable traffic. So this just pulls up traffic for you uh, real time. So if um, now if I go back to the settings, um, I actually click on the settings. You'll see here you have options. So this is where you would, you know, let's say if you want to use Waze, um, you can you can change it here for, from here. I'll go ahead and change it. Rideshare, uh, you can also uh, you can use a Lyft or Uber. So you know, pick one of those. I'll go ahead and just set Uber. Um, you know, if, if this applies to you, I mean, you can change uh, the units. So, um, you know, in the, in the states here, we use miles. You can change it to kilometers. You also have the quick check-in, quick check-out feature. So the quick check-in saves you a step. So if you just click check-in, it'll check you in. Um, so a lot of our customers use the, the quick check-in feature and and uh, leave the quick check-out unchecked for checkout so they can make notes, uh, you know, upon leaving the account. Primary action. So, you know, as I was demonstrating earlier when I was adding records uh, to um, to the route, uh, you have the option to, you know, you can either have the add to route option or add um, the navigation. 
So I like having the enter out, so I'll leave it there. And just like that, everything saves. So I can go back to the map and go about my day. All right, well, that is all for now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.